Hello, we're going to do one more derivation of one more state function starting from these two equations. This time, um, we're going to start with the system that we are going to consider at uh, constant mass and closed. So it's not even a steady, a steady system, it's closed. And we're going to consider a system that has constant um, pressure and constant temperature. This covers many of the systems that we'll encounter in biology. Um, so, in the, starting with these two uh, balance equations here, for energy and entropy, we're going to start by crossing out terms we don't need. So, first we're going to cross out the, the terms connect, consistent of kinetic and potential energy. We don't have any perceived changes in that. All of these terms that have flow are now gone. And now we have a, um, what can we get rid of that's left here? Uh, actually, the Q and the WS and the pressure volume. Uh, not, none of our conditions right now lets us take any of those out. We can get rid of the flow terms on entropy as well, uh, leading to a modified version of these two equations. I'm going to quickly rearrange for, for you. We're going to have U2 equals U1 uh, plus Q plus WS, and if we, we integrate this, this integral out um, for a, a, a short interval, where we have, we're going to have P2 equals P1, so then P is a constant, um, then the integral of this term for a constant is trivial, so we're going to have simply um, minus P2 uh, V2 minus P1 V1, which is um, e equivalent. So we're going to have, then we're going to have just simply uh, P times V2 minus P times uh, V1. Entropy uh, sim simple, similarly uh, simplifies. We're going to have S2 minus S1 equals. Uh, Q over T plus the S gen term. So what uh, this combination gives us, if we rearrange uh, our two equations, um, following a similar substitution that we did for Helmholtz, rearranging this equation for Q, substituting Q in, we're going to have, in the end, um, this new energy that we're going to define, where we're going to have WS is going to be equal to um, U2 plus uh, P2 V2 plus, uh, I'm sorry, minus now uh, TS from the rearranging of this, uh, S2, uh, minus U1 plus P1 V1 minus TS1. Or this whole term, U plus PV, minus TS is given the letter G, so this becomes G2, this becomes G1, and G is called the Gibbs free energy. And you'll notice that within these brackets here, we have our familiar U plus PV, so G we can define as U plus PV minus TS which equals enthalpy that we looked at before, minus Ts. So this is a different way, starting from the energy balance and conditions, the conditions again being constant N slash M, a constant P, and constant temperature, this relationship between our state functions. Now we're going to spend time on using these to solve problems, and we're going to be visiting Gibbs free energy over and over um, in the next few weeks of this course.